So, uh, hi guys, it's absolutely a pleasure to be here in our annual uh, festival, Ethereum festival. We have it once a year and it's great. It's, it's total joy. And, and uh, uh, yeah, I have 20 minutes. I have 20 minutes to tell you what Ethercam have been done, doing this year and what we're planning for you for uh, uh, next month, what you're going to see. Uh, a lot of stuff, I'm go briefly. And uh, if you want more details, you're always welcome to come and chat with us. But, but I want to start with really say thank you. I want to start with say thank you because if we thinking about roadmaps, planning features, uh, building strategy, we are very simple on that. We just have you and you tell us what to do. So uh, if you are not yet on our Slack, please join this. It's either.camp and ask us to build something or integrate something and we really will do it for you. Let's talk about our products. And the most famous products is absolutely Ethereum Studio. Uh, we promised it next, last year, last year, a year ago, we actually promised to you this product. We promised to put one button on the website, you click it and you get a desktop experience. Uh, very easy. With built-in uh, Ethereum sandbox, all the features of Ethereum, you can build projects, you can do GitHub, you can do command line, you can do everything. And special thank for our friends in Microsoft Azure who provides us with servers and uh, let us to bring all this experience for you for free. Uh, so what is the future of this product? First of all, this year was amazing for me. Like I had chance to travel the world and actually see uh, classrooms of people, hackathons, uh, academy, conference zones, uh, both, actually uh, doing Ethereum uh, with Ethereum Studio. And I have to say, like, there is nothing more satisfying in this business than actually see developers working with you too. Like, it's better than everything. And if it works, it's great. Like, you actually see people uh, using this and, and building something. It's total joy. And I have to say, like, we have absolutely great a uh, response from Academy to using Ethereum and to using this tool. And we're so close, we're so close to see them including Ethereum into, into real computer science program, right? For now, they're just doing workshops and playing with this and, and we're doing with students and I really enjoy this. But they really want to see smart contract solidity go into the real program and they are preparing for this. So. Hopefully, uh, wait for announcement soon. And by the way, special thanks for Validity Labs, which are great educator in Europe. And if you're looking for great educator about Ethereum, just Google Validity Labs. Uh, they are really awesome. And they will go and, and do courses for you. So this is our first features that we are going to release in a week or so. It's a full functional debugger. I think. There is no uh, such a thing as debugger for Solidity uh, that's been asked by all our community. Like people totally ask us is for all this year, you should build it and, and you're going to have it. You're going to see transparency on all the variables, call stack, uh, function parameters, the whole thing. So I hope it will like make your development shorter, maybe 90%. Right, it's, it's the real thing and it was our main focus in last month. Uh, we really took everything out and, and, and focused on this thing and it's almost ready, it's repolishing this. It's going to be for you in the same studio you're using today. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, continuous integration. Continuous integration in Ethereum is not just uh, like a usual software. It's not just uh, something that keep uh, bugs out of your code. No, it's, it's a real contract. It's something that actually says what this uh, smart contract does and, and sometimes it can cost money the, and it can mean a lot of money, like for example, you know, $150 million. Uh, this is why uh, 
we spend also some time to figure out how it should be do done properly. And what we uh, done, we actually took uh, a sandbox of Ethereum Studio, took it out, what, what programmers called headless, right, without a UI, and we provided it as a sandbox for a command line. So you basically, uh, in very, uh, very regular JavaScript, JavaScript testing tools, you can have a very nice and very clear uh, testing continuous inter integration environments. And basically what I believe is going to happen, and it kind of going this direction, that all the white papers around smart contracts, all the meaningful white papers that, that deals with money and, and real contracts, they are going to, to have links to real unit testing of, of solidity. Because this is the way, this is the only way to prove that what you put in your white paper and then in the code actually do the same thing, right? Because, and, and people are going to watch this. It's going to be as common as white papers. Uh, people in enterprise was asking us to use Ethereum Studio. It's kind of hard for them to use Live Network. So we work with Microsoft and it's already ready on, on a marketplace. It's going to be on marketplace in probably a couple of days, right? If we tested it and they uh, validated that everything worked properly, you're going to have the uh, Ethereum Studio inside your companies that run in Microsoft Azure, and you have it, uh, you, you're going to have it inside the marketplace. Okay, next one, Ethereum J. Ethereum J, the infrastructure that we uh, run Ethereum with. Uh, together with Go and Rust, this is what running our live network, right? This is what we have. So the community around Ethereum J has very nice, uh, very nice way to go different directions. And it was pleasure to support them in all different ways. I go uh, very fast on what we have seen uh, with these uh, people working on us on, on different levels, sometimes formally, sometimes not formally, and uh, doing really great things because we really provide this library for customization and like take it and do whatever you want on Ethereum, with Ethereum, behind Ethereum. Uh, so what we had, uh, and this is not all of them, but actually fraction of them, but uh, the, 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 the guys that I can tell about, right? So Deloitte really uh, announced great identity project in New York a couple of months ago. They've been really busy showing everybody about this identity project. Very, very interesting because Deloitte really knows how identity works and they took uh, our uh, Java and built the identity project on top of this. And uh, you, you should check it. You should check it if you're looking for good uh, blockchain based identity project. Uh, you probably read about Clearmatics. They're doing something very cool. They, they're doing settlements between banks. They took the Java and customized this to the private uh, chains. And they're doing this uh, communication between finance institution for uh, settlement, for, for settlement, yeah, settlement cons. Gemini, Gemini, the exchange for, uh, in New York, a big uh, legal exchange. Uh, compliant and, and doing Ethereum trading with all the other currencies, with dollars also. It's a bank. They're running uh, Ethereum J for different uh, connection and have very nice uh, cold storage solution also using the, the same library. Uh, Three Pillar Global is uh, customizing stuff. They, they're doing different projects uh, globally. Uh, they also in good connection with us and customize the library according to the uh, according to the uh, to the order. Santander, great guys. So uh, in a minute I will tell you what we're doing with Santander and why are they here. Uh, Rootstock, smart contracts on Bitcoin. You pr probably heard about this. Uh, what is Rootstock? It's nice a nice startup in Argentina and they really want, they, they so excited about smart contracts on Ethereum and they want to bring it to Bitcoin, just to Bitcoin that we know. And what they have, they have the Bitcoin blockchain as we know it. And they took our uh, Java implementation as it is, as it runs Ethereum, and they run it as a side chain to the Bitcoin blockchain. So they have token inside this and basically they can run it's the same virtual machine for now. They have some plans 
and we're talking with them about how they're going to develop it in the future. But now they just running the same Ethereum as a sign chain. So what it gives us, it gives us really great opportunity. You can take the same Ethereum studio, the same smart contracts that you have today, and basically have them in Bitcoin environment. It should be cool, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, some guys do understand, do appreciate. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. Uh, very, very soon they are going to open, open their uh, test environment for everybody and they asked us basically to announce about this and we are looking for the same uh, good developers that we have on Ethereum environment to actually try it on a Bitcoin environment. We, we have been trying this ourselves, but it, I think it is an opportunity here for people for who are looking for uh, adventures. Uh, let's go next. Ethereum Harmony. We announced this like about a week ago. It's our way to use Ethereum J Core because people were, was asking us for good tools, like just provide us with better tools on all the networks, private, consortium, public. And we've been like, okay, uh, you're asking for good tools, we will uh, give you good tools because we're also the users of the blockchain and we also need the better tools. So Ethereum Harmony is going to be your uh, private peer that basically provides you with a very nice view on the blockchain. No matter which Ethereum blockchain you're running, you're going to see to use Harmony and, and you, you're going to see what's going on on the blockchain, you're going to see what's going on with your peers. Just Google for Ethereum Harmony, you will see video, you will see all the nice features that we have there from the first release. Uh, this is the list I will run with the time, I have like eight minutes left and I promise to Ming I'm not going to <laughs> over the time this time. Yes, 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 I, I'm watching the time. Okay, uh, next one. Okay, so let's talk about the Banco de Santander and they are here. Uh, and we are happy to see them sponsoring this event together with us and more cool companies. And uh, these guys uh, asked us to build something really cool because we believe in live network. We believe in live blockchain much more than in any other blockchain. And I will show it to you first, okay? I will show it to you. So think about the idea that you have just plain regular bank account in, in, in Banco de Santander. And then suddenly you have this nice button. You have this, this nice button on your account and you can click it and you can generate a signature, which is basically your private key. Okay, and boom, you have a Ethereum account attached to your bank account in, in Banco de Santander. Thank you. Yeah. It sounds good, sounds <laughs> you like it, right? Okay, let's go next. And then you can take part of your money and sign it with the signature and basically get some approval process inside the bank and get this money tokenized on smart contract running, running on live Ethereum blockchain. So now you have two accounts. You have one account that is your money and another account that has tokens which are backed by a real money in reserve inside bundle the Santander and these tokens are fast and support all the standards of Ethereum tokens, right? So this gives us the agility to build really, really cool features on top of it. Like this. We can have a widget on any blog, on any website, and basically ask you to pay very small fractions of a dollar and of a euro. Uh, even smaller than this, right? We can go five cents or maybe a fraction of a cent if this is the value of the virtual product and you do it very easy. You just give your brain wallet signature, which is a private key and you ap approve it and you basically pay with this balance that you tokenize. And what good in this tokenization, you can go back. You basically co can go back in any time. Uh, you can take these tokens and return them into real uh, euros or dollars inside the bank. We have this system running now on Ethereum uh, more than network, which is the Ethereum test official network. It's it, it's running there all the time. This is the smart contract that you can check this. Uh, I don't show you the name. You can find it easily, but uh, it's running about a month, uh, checking scalability and different options to uh, work with this. So 
uh, what's going to be next with this project. We, we have this, uh, it's not a prototype, it's much more than a prototype, it's a working system of the test network. We are going to take it live. Like I didn't see a bank uh, guys uh, so determined to take it live to solve all the regulation problems. This is what we're doing in these days. We're solving real, real uh, regulation problem to make it happen. And we are very, very uh, excited about make it, uh, make it work on real network. Uh, we are going to open the sandbox for people who want to build applications uh, like one that I just shown to you on top of this idea. So even, it bef even before Cash ETH going live, you can go and, and build your own products on top of it. And, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is cool. Uh, if you want more details, come and chat with us. Come and chat with guys from Santander. We are here. It's very easy to find us on the, on the stands. Uh, let's talk about our last and cool uh, stuff that we are doing. Very cool. We opened Hack Ethercam for registration a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what we got uh, for this virtual hackathon, we got almost 1,000 hackers uh, registered now and more than 400 people, like not developers, like observers. Uh, we already see long, long list of ideas, like more than 200 ideas uh, that people actually trying to implement and trying to go and implement during this event. What we didn't tell, tell you, this is going to be much more than a hackathon. And this is why we call it a virtual accelerator. Because what we're trying to do, we're trying to find the right place and the right stage for capital and startups to meet and uh, kind of uh, solve all the problems that they have in real life before they take off as a real business. And we really want real businesses to come out of this five weeks uh, event, five weeks hackathon. And we built a great social uh, interaction experience event uh, system, system that you all uh, will going to be able to use. Uh, it's going to be open as the event is going to be open. So all the startups are going to have this uh, option to show what they're doing, to show their team, to show how they build, not just what they build, because it's also important for the investors. And uh, we got awesome team of judges to check, and uh, we call it valued by experience, to give their opinion by votes uh, to these startups and actually to pick the best of them by voting, voting on the blockchain, right? We don't know better way to do transparency. We're going to have much more. We're going to allow these startups to initiate token, token backed by their idea, backed by their projects, and, and give to the free market. Give to the free market also the way to value it, uh, uh, what is the worth of this idea, what is the value of this project. So we're going to have two systems of valuation, one actually voting by experience and one valuating by market. Very soon, we are going to publish the white paper. So stay tuned, stay registered, and we are going to let you know about the white paper that's going to actually formalize all the process, and you're going to see how it all uh, eventually going to work. And uh, the startup that will stay here on the first row at the end of the competition is going to get uh, $50,000 from us in cryptocurrency. But we believe, as I say, we are going to see much, much more winners because this is the stage for startups to take their idea as fast as possible uh, to be a real company and continue to build more and more uh, feature around this. Okay? I have one more minute. It's more than enough. <laughs> Ming is watching me <laughs> closely. I have the mic now. <laughs> okay. Guys, Bar Rouge. Bar Rouge is nice, nice, nice bar, like five minutes from here, like just across the, <laughs> just across the bridge. Um, and we have it for tonight. And we want to invite you to come and chat with us. Let us buy you a drink and let's continue this dialogue about what I just described, about blockchains, about the future of blockchain before, because we know we know exactly where we are going, but uh, we still figure out the next steps, right? So the future really has not been written yet. So let's write it together. Thank you.